Okay. The paradox of Tamerlanchan involves the fact that newly formed but weak humans. Humans said to each but humans and said to each other, what shall the humans eat? Everyone must look for food for them. The red ants brought forth some corn kernels from within from within the mountain of our sustenance, also known as Pinnacutum Antony Pedal. If it offered the corn to the humans and Captain Quarto saw this, he asked, where did you get it? The ants did not want to say and refused to do so for a long time. Nevertheless, it eventually succumbed to the pressure and told Captain Quarto that Pinnacutum Antony I don't know how to say those. <laughs> the the corn. Quetzalcoatl then became a black ant and went inside the still, mountain of our sustenance. He collected some corn and returned to the Samuel John, where the gods shoot on it immediately. The paste from the two corn was then placed on the lips of the humans and they began to stir and become stronger. Then the gods said, What should we do about the mountain of our sustenance? Corn It keeps falling. Quetzalcoatl set off, determined to tie up the mountain with ropes and drag it down to Tamerlanchan. But try as he might, the mountain would not budge. Then the two gods, Oxenwinkel and Sepaktonel, threw lots of grains of corn so they could divine what next to do. They said, only gods not of the pole can get the grain out of the mountain. He must split it open with his stick. The gods of the rain, the Tuakwe, helped none of you talk. These four gods were colored blue, yellow, and red. As he split open the mountain of our sustenance, the kernels of corn were swept away by the Tuakwe. The corn kernels adopted their colors, blue, white, yellow, and red. The Tuakwe also took the also took beans, shire, amaranth, and fish amaranth with them. Everything was swept from inside the mountain of our sustenance. Very good.